Which you guys got another video here for you on how to manually update Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now, if you're having trouble with Windows updating and you can't do it via this method, then I'm going to show you how you can download these manually and get them installed on the system. And hopefully this will rectify any sort of problem that you're having. So you can see here, we do have a file which is called KB5040527. I can go to the Microsoft Update Catalog and download this file manually and install it on the system. First, what you want to do is make sure you type WinVer inside the search box to make sure what version of Windows you're running. This is to make sure that you're downloading the correct version of Windows Update for your system so you don't get the wrong update and then you get an error. So we're going to make sure we're using the version 23H2. So let's now click OK and we can now go back over to the Microsoft Update catalog. What we need to do is do a search for that inside Google and you should see something looking like this. From here, you want to do a search for the actual file that you're wanting to download. It doesn't really matter whether it's this particular file. It can be any type of KB file or feature update that Microsoft release. Once you do a search for it, you'll have a long list of updates available to you depending on what version of Windows you're running. It's important to download the correct version. As you can see here, I'm going to be downloading the 23H2 version right here. There is a 22H2 version, which is not suitable for my machine. So I need to download the correct version by clicking on the download button. And now we can download by clicking on the link right here. This is gonna download this straight from the Microsoft servers to my computer. Once it's downloaded, we can now double click on this and install it on our computer by clicking open. And this will now start to unpack our download and install it on the computer. It's gonna say, you sure do you want to install the following Windows software update? Update for Windows, and it says KB5040527, and it's starting to copy the package to the Windows update cache folder which is your software distribution folder on your Windows based system. So we're going to let that copy that to that folder there. And once it's done, it's going to populate another box to say it's going to start to install that update on our system. You can always read the download of the update right here. It tells us exactly which version we're downloading and what type of update you're downloading. And again, like I said before, this could be any particular type of download. It could be a security update. It could be a feature update or anything like that. So once it's finished copying the package over to that location, it's going to start to initialize an installation of that particular package. And you can see it here now, it's starting to install the update for our Windows right here. And you can see it on the screen on the bottom right hand corner. So once that update is done, it should say completed install and it will probably need a restart depending on what particular type of update it is. So we'll let this finish off and then we'll restart the computer to make sure we can finalize the update. Now this is a really useful way of getting updates onto your operating system that you're having trouble installing via the Windows automatic update. So you can see it wants us to restart now, but I'm going to close this off and close this window off right here. And what we're going to do here first is I'm going to open up the start button and I'm going to type CMD and run this as administrator so we can open up the command prompt box. There's a little command you can run which will tell you exactly what sort of updates you have installed on your system. So you want to type this command out here. And once you've done that, you can push enter and this will give you all of the hot fixes that have been installed on the computer. You can now see that our update that we've just downloaded has been installed, but it hasn't had a restart yet. So it does need to do that before it's completed correctly. You can also get this information from your settings and Windows update panel. So let's go there and take a look. You can see the update hasn't finished yet because we haven't restarted. And it does tell us here that it requires a restart to finish the installation. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and restart the system. But this is where you can tell what updates you have on the system. So let's go ahead and quickly restart the system. And you may see an update screen coming on your system when you're restarting it, just like so. Now we'll speed this process up until it's completed. 
sometimes you'll see two different types of Windows update screens here. Now a problem I see people do is they get to this stage here and sometimes there might be a black screen and it stays on there. Depending on how fast your computer and what type of update it is, the first thing to do is just leave the computer alone and let it do its thing. Not to shut the PC down before the update is finished because that can cause a reboot loop and cause you a major problem. So the update is now finished and we're back at the desktop. So let's go ahead and go back to our Windows Updates panel by going to Settings, Windows Update, and you should now see that the update has already been installed because we've restarted and the system is fully updated. And you can do this for any Windows update and get it installed on the system. You can check the update history here and you can now see it successfully installed on the system. So if you're having trouble installing Windows updates via the Windows Update panel, then you can try this method to hopefully try and get these updates installed. You can also use the Windows 11 Installation Assistant. This will do a scan on your system and install the latest updates for your system. This is also a way of getting early releases of Windows updates on your system early before anyone else by using this method. So if you want to get those early feature releases, then you can use this method and it will get the early releases via the Windows Update Assistant. Anyway, that is going to be about it. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If you're having issues with your Windows updates, remember you can always clear your Windows Update cache inside the software distribution folder and then try updating your version of Windows again and hopefully that will rectify the problem. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.